Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your June 2016 mid-month general readings. I am still using my beloved Gilded Tarot deck, and even though we are exploring uh, the last half of the month rather than the month in its entirety, I'm still going to be using the same eight card spread with an additional ninth card as your overall theme, general energy, and feeling over the reading. These are general readings. You guys are probably really sick of us saying that, but we kind of have to preface it. Uh, they're general readings, so they're not, of course, going to apply or resonate the same with everyone who watches because there's just so many of you watching with such diverse backgrounds and stories and different things going on in your life. So make sure to check your rising and your moon sign as well uh, because some months and some readings that may resonate more predictively for you um, than your uh, primary sun sign. And some months and some readings that other readers uh, will resonate more predictively for you than the ones that you typically follow. Uh, there's uh, a number of good uh, readers out on YouTube today, so shop around and find the ones that you relate to the most. And for those of you who include me in that group that you generally follow, my thanks and appreciation uh, for your love and support and feedback. It is wonderful to see the family growing so quickly on a daily basis. Thank you so much for uh, all of that support and for watching and listening and subscribing as well. Uh, for those of you who are back for the umpteenth time, thank you for that. And for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. Thank you, a special thank you always to those of you who continue to reach out for personal one-on-one -on -one readings. It is always an honor and always a pleasure. And thank you for uh, allowing me the bit of trust it takes to interpret and intuit the cards for you. And thank you also for the feedback, all of you for the feedback that you send. But for those of you whom I do personal readings for, I always ask you to keep me updated. And uh, most of you do. And I really appreciate seeing how the readings uh, resonate so predictably for you moving forward. Um, the energies of the cards are rarely ever wrong. And it's always nice to see that validated moving into the future. And I always tell those of you who watch and listen to my channel and comment on a regular basis to keep those comments coming please do of course I don't have time to respond to all of the comments I do some of them but I do read all of them especially the ones that uh, where you're describing how the reading uh, resonates for you so keep those coming I enjoy reading them very much and if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, you can click on the about sign on my channel's homepage. That will give you a little more detail and information and also my contact information, which is Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I do readings full time, so I'm pretty good at getting back to you very quickly and scheduling a reading. My current turnaround time is around one to four or five days, but uh, almost always within a week. I would be delighted to uh, work with you and do a reading for you. So send me an email and we will go from there. Yes, I know my background has changed once again because I periodically submit to uh, uh, the desire to have a little gypsy wanderlust from time to time. But since the nature of what I do is so fluid and mobile, as long as I have an internet connection, I can bring the readings to you from anywhere. And I think I have from just about all four corners of the world. So my background does change periodically. So enough blather, let's get right into this reading. This is for Virgo for June 2016, mid-month. Although I'm actually recording this on the 10th or 11th. So it's basically the last two plus weeks of June. So what does the remainder of the month of June hold for the wonderful earth sign of Virgo. Virgo, the virgin, the maidens, rooted, lovely, earthy Virgo. What does the energy of the remainder of the month of June 2016 hold for you, my Virgo family members? Virgo, June 2016, mid-month. Okay. We begin with the Page of Cups, followed by the star, beautiful card. We have the Eight of Wands, followed by the Eight of Swords in reverse. We have the Ten of Wands, 
paired with the Knight of Cups. We have the Chariot card paired with the <clears throat> ooh, nine, nine of Swords in reverse and another card popped out with that. The Queen of Pentacles in the upright. There's your energy, Virgo. I'm going to stick with that because you obviously want to be there. And energy from the bottom of the deck representing your general theme and feeling over the reading as the Sun card. Beautiful. Interesting, I got an extra card for you, Virgo. I don't often have extra cards pop out in my general readings, uh, but this one did, and it's actually you, your energy, Queen of Pentacles right there, even if you are a man. Uh, the difference in queens and kings in the tarot, um, in personal readings, I, I do read them as being more gender specific, but uh, queens and kings uh, hold the same energy uh, of the suit that they're in. Queens just have that slightly softer, more feminine energy of nurturing care and caretaking, um, whereas kings hold uh, the conventionally more masculine uh, traits of being the provider, uh, protector. <clears throat> um, so let's take a look and see what comes through, Virgo. Okay, let's begin. First of all, Virgo, I have to say that um, it's really quite a nice reading. It looks like it's all about the remainder of June 2016. It looks like there's a lot of healing and successful overcoming of some things. And it, and it kind of, uh, I kind of get the feeling that uh, some of you who are watching this have really been through. Um, been through kind of the ringer. Now, of course, this is going to apply differently to everyone as it always does. There's a fairly even, let's see, we have one, two cups, we have one, two swords, we have one, two wands, one pentacles. So again, it's going to apply differently. For some of you, this is going to be love and relationships. And I'm feeling quite a strong energy in that sector of your life. For others of you, this is going to be uh, work and career uh, related, perhaps. Although some of you, it's going to be all of those combinations because you're you're all ha you all have such different things going on in your life. So let's begin. We find ourselves uh, around the middle of June 2016 with the Page of Cups. Although it's actually the tenth today, so somewhere right around there, time being fluid. That Page of Cups is paired with the Star card. So the Page of Cups. Now, Cups is governed by the element of water. It's all about that watery, emotional, fluid suit of emotions and feelings. It's also a suit that represents love and relationships as well. Pages can represent young people or actual children in your life. They most often typically represent messages and messengers. And what would this page be bringing a message of? Well, love or emotional support of some kind, as he is the Page of Cups. Pages can also represent um, kind of a student apprenticeship type of energy as well. And I feel like Virgo, particularly since further on in the month of June, I'm seeing the Knight of Cups too. So we're, we're starting off the reading with the Page of Cups. We're progressing to the Knight of Cups. I feel like you're getting messages and offers of love and of emotional support this month in conjunction with something that you're, you're healing from, you're getting over, and you're almost at the very tail end of, which I believe this page of cups is bringing you that message, bringing you a message of love. This can represent an actual individual in your life who's bringing this message to you specifically. It could be a water sign, sun, sun uh, rising, or moon, which would be uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And this page would be delivering a message to you um, offering you love, offering you emotional support, um, giving you a message of some kind. And in the upright position, it's something that makes you feel very happy. And I'm actually getting kind of, and it's a page too, I'm actually getting kind of a sweet energy off of it as well. Some of you, I am getting the pregnancy buzz in my head. So some of you may be finding out that you are pregnant this month. Uh, and if so, congratulations. Now this page of cups is accompanied by the star card. 
I, so I feel like some of you, this offer, this message of love, not an offer of love, the Knight of Cups is showing up later with an actual offer of love, but I feel like it's coming from the same person or coming from the same source. This message of love is coming, asking you to have faith and hope in this message of love or somebody telling you to have faith and hope in just the promise of love itself as represented by the star card. The star card is a major arcana card, fingers of the divine as I like to call it. Uh, and this is a card all about faith, hope and faith. It's also about uh, a beautiful bright path laid out in front of you and having faith in the hope and promise and potential on the path. It's a, it's a card that speaks of the wheel of life kind of being on the upswing for you. The key to the energy of the wheel of life is actually really just your perspective of it. I've actually seen this card come up for people who um, are sort of working through the tail end of a healing process of some kind. I've seen this card come up for people who went through a long course of chemotherapy because they were battling cancer and they're kind of coming out of the down end of it. They're in remission. They're starting to feel good. People have been sick for a long time and are finally recovering. I've seen this card come up for people who went through a really difficult or traumatic breakup or divorce and they kind of like went off into their emotional cave to kind of heal. And uh, the star card represents that time where you step out of your house one morning and all of a sudden you realize that the sun is shining and life is still meant to be lived, that there's still many beautiful blessings. It's a card again of hope and faith uh, that um, for those of you who have been through a hard time, and I think a lot of you who are listening to this have been through something emotionally difficult or painful for you, the star card is here to tell you along with what whoever or whatever source this message of love and, and hope and healing and faith is coming from, to have faith in that, that things are on the upswing for, for you and that you are in fact healing. Again, I'm just getting this feeling that whatever it is that you've been through, uh, Virgo, and it's going to differ for everyone, the overall energy is that it was very difficult for your heart, uh, but it does look like you are well on your way through the healing process. And that star card is asking you to have hope and faith in that. Uh, it, the wheel has swung in, is swinging in your favor. There is a beautiful path laid out in front of you and have hope and faith in that. And also not just in the fact that things are getting better, that you are healing and recovering from whatever it is that you've been through, but having faith in, in your divine path, in your source of, of divine connection, whatever that is, God, spirit, universe, your angels, guides, or if you're like me, all of the above. Um, you can see that on the star card, is this beautiful woman who is kneeling down in water and she is pouring her pitchers out into the water. She's completely emptying them out in perfect faith and perfect confidence that her pitchers will be refilled because the source is limit, limitless, not limited, limitless. It's a card of faith, of knowing that whatever happens in her life, she has perfect faith and confidence that everything is playing out exactly as it's meant to. Divine timing, uh, divine orchestration, and divine love that she's on the right path, that the universe has her career. Um, and it's not a card of shirking responsibilities and oh everything will happen as it's meant to do what's put in front of you to do but the star card is a card saying that um, particularly those of you who have been through a very difficult time recently uh, life is getting better it is still beautiful uh, there is a beautiful path laid out in front of you and have faith also in your source of divine that wonderful things are coming for you now next to that we have a pretty interesting combination. We have the Eight of Wands followed by the Eight of Swords in reverse. And the presence of two eights in a reading, particularly two uh, paired with each other, can be an indication of surprising events or or something unexpected happening or unfolding and i and i feel like it's it's going to be it's beneficial for you virgo that it's actually a positive thing and the eight of swords in the reverse also points to um you're overcoming a situation where you felt kind of helpless or powerless or locked into something so the eight of wands wands is governed by the element of fire and air so that's a very dynamic combination and the suit of wands is a very dynamic suit it's about change, movement, action, power. Wands can point uh, to career, um, any artistic or creative endeavors. The suit of wands is about the manifest, manifesting energy. It's about that primal, inspirational, creative energy that allows us to turn our dreams and our ideas into reality. It's about the action behind it. The Eight of 
wands is primarily a card of communication. For some of you, um, it's going to represent travel for this month because it, it is a card that also si can signify travel. But it's a strong card of communication. And again, I feel like it's, I think for a lot of you, this communication is coming from a specific person. And it's somebody who's bringing you a message of love and who's offering love and support to you somehow. Um, this could be for some of you, a new message of love and support or somebody who's been there for you throughout this process and for some reason they're offering extra love and support for you this month. For some of you I feel like somebody is coming either someone is coming back from the past to tell you they love you for some of you, this is going to be love and romance related. Someone from the past that you ended a relationship with is going to be coming back to tell you that they went off and did whatever it was they had to do, came to the realization that they needed to come to, and they're offering you love. They're telling you that they love you, and they're making you an offer of reconciliation uh, to you. For some of you, this could represent a new love, although for some reason I get the feeling uh, the energy is mostly that it's somebody you know. But for some of you, this can represent somebody new coming in or somebody who's been in your sphere that wasn't connected to you in a romantic way, who's telling you, um, kind of revealing their feelings to you this month and offering you love um, and making an offer of, of love and ro to be with you in a love and romance uh, based way. Um, and this communication, that you're receiving this month uh, is coming, it's it's already ongoing. You can see that the wands have already left their point of origin, they're in process. This is communication that is uh, inevitable, that's coming. In the upright position, it does indicate that it's a positive thing. Uh, and paired with the Eight of Swords in the reverse, it's part of the healing process. This is part of something that you're finding healing uh, in overcoming the pain and challenge of whatever it is that you've been through. Right along with that star card, right next to it, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Now, in the upright position, so the suit of swords is governed by the element of air. And uh, so the suit of swords is all about that airy element of our thoughts, our words and our ideas. It's a, it's a cerebral place. It's about our mental perspectives, our outlooks, our belief system. It's how we think. It's all about what goes on up here. The eight of swords in the upright position speaks of feeling held hostage by something or feeling trapped by something and since it's a suit of swords it's ideas it's it's but it's actually a bit of an illusionary card the eight of swords it's being held hostage by your own thoughts your own ideas either a set of them or one belief system in and of itself feeling trapped uh, uh, by yourself um, that you feel like you're helpless or powerless because of the messages you keep getting from yourself so it's a bit of an illusionary card you can see that there's a woman uh, on her knees which implies a, a victim mentality or a, a, a strong feeling of vulnerability of helplessness she's completely hemmed in by these swords although the gaps in between the swords are plenty wide enough for her to easily walk through she's chained up at the wrist she's bound at the wrist by these chains but they're not attached to anything and nobody's actually holding on to them. If she just twisted her wrist, they would fall right off. She's also wearing a blindfold, which speaks of feeling stuck, feeling trapped, not knowing what to do, not knowing which way to turn. It's a feeling of being held hostage, but it's it's a mental card too. It represents being that the only person, regardless of what put you there in the first place, and I feel like it was the original heartache or breakup for some of you or whatever it was uh, that put you there, you are the one that have the power to um, release yourself from this bondage because it's it's mostly in your mind. However, you got it in the reverse position and it's attached to this communication and or travel card. So whatever communication you're receiving uh, in the remainder of June 2016 Virgo, or perhaps for some of you, it's a trip you're taking. It may be a trip you're taking with another individual. There's something about it which is helping and aiding in you overcoming this feeling of uh, being trapped and held hostage um, by your thoughts. And I believe by the pain, um, of the past, of whatever this past issue was that you are overcoming and healing from this month. And it's strongly connected to this communication. Again, and I feel like that Page of Cups and that Knight of Cups is coming from the same source or same person. Again, it could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio because it is water. So right next to that, we have the Ten of Wands followed by the Knight of Cups. 
So the Ten of Wands, tens represent the culmination of something, a cycle coming to an end, a coming full circle of something, being at the very tail end of something. What is it that you're coming to the tail end of? Well, you're, you've been moving through this healing process, this overcoming a feeling of being trapped and helpless and unable to make a decision about something. Uh, and the Ten of Wands, ag again, represents that energy as well. Something which has been a burden, which you have been carrying, Virgo, which you're almost at the place where you're going to be able to lay it down. You can see that the man on this card is carrying these Ten Wands, and they are very heavy. So heavy, in fact, that he cannot stand up straight. He's completely bowed over by the weight of these wands, although he is and has been carrying them successfully. He hasn't dropped any of them, or if he has, he's been able to pick them up and continue slogging on. And the Ten of Wands represents being at the end of something, Virgo. Whatever it is that you've been working towards, healing from, overcoming, you are you are there. In the month of June 2016, you are coming to the end of uh, this burden, this heartache. You're healing, you're overcoming, uh, you're triumphing over this. And you're almost at the place because you can see this man's head is up. And of course, he wouldn't be carrying these things with his head up the whole journey. I always get this feeling that his destination is right Right, right outside of our line of vision. He's actually looking at it, this place where he's going to finally be able to set this burden down, uh, uh, shrug it off, lay it down, let it go, make the decision, come to the end of a body of work or a healing process, stand up and take a deep breath. Why? Well, that Ten of Wands is coupled with the Knight of Cups, and I feel like this is coming from the same source for most of you as this Page of Cups. Somebody, possibly a water sign, Sun, Moon, or Rising, is making you, is giving you this message of love, is communicating this to you, and the Knight of Cups is somebody who's making an actual offer of love or of emotional support of assistance somehow. Uh, again, it's that suit of cups. It's all about emotions, feelings, love, and relationships, and Knights are the bringers of the tarot. Uh, usually when you see Knights in a reading, particularly in the upright position, it represents being somebody bringing you something, and it's usually something which is viewed as positive or beneficial. What is this knight bringing? Well, he's the knight of cups. So he's bringing, he's making an offer, he's bringing you love, he's bringing you support. It doesn't have to be love or romance uh, related. This could be a, a, another connective relationship of of another kind, but it's an emotional offering. It's an emotional gift um, because it's, it's the knight, and they are usually associated with a fair amount of speed, too. Now, this knight paired with this Ten of Wands, Virgo, somewhere in the month of June 2016. Now, this is going to play out differently. It could be somebody coming to help you carry um, the last bit of this weight. It could be somebody who's been there helping you with it, either helping you shoulder this burden or cheering you on every step of the way. Uh, it could represent um, this offer, meaning the end, where you can finally lay this burden down. However it plays out for you, it is very positive. Um, it's very strong. And, um, and I... I feel like it's coming from one person, one source. For some of you, it's going to be somebody from the past. I'm sorry. I love you. Um, I want to be with you. It could be somebody else, a very close friend, family member who's saying, let me help you, or they've been there for you. Um, they've, been a, they've showed up in your reading, so they've been a significant source of support for you, if that's the case. Uh, but just a really beautiful combination, and one that's going to allow you finally to lay this burden down and to share it, the last bit of it, and be there with you when you celebrate laying it down. Again, whether it's recovery from something difficult, overcoming, um, coming to the end of a long challenge or a long slog of something that you've been investing in, however it plays out for you, um, the remainder of June 2016 shows the end of it in a very positive and beneficial way. And it feels uh, fairly emotional too, but also in a positive and beneficial way. Now, at or towards the end of June 2016, Virgo, we have the Chariot card, Major Arcana card, paired with the Knight, whoops, the Nine of Swords in reverse. I really like seeing both the Eight of Swords in reverse for you and the Nine of Swords in reverse for you, um, because in the upright position, they're cards of a lot of challenge and mental stress and anxiety and worry, and I like to see them in the reverse for you. You had an extra card pop out with that Nine of Swords, and it was the Queen of Pentacles, and I let it I let it uh, come a stay because I feel like it's you um, really kind of triumphing at the end of the month, this Queen of Pentacles, lovely earth energy, that's you. 
So the Chariot card, ma another major Arcana card, um, divine energy coming in at or towards the end of June 2016. It feels like you have really reached a milestone. You've reached that point where you, you're laying those wands down. You're laying that burden down. You finished whatever it was that you needed to do. You've come successfully through the end of the healing process. It looks like you have some help, some assistance along the way. Some of you will be um, celebrating this with another person coming together in a relationship of some kind. I think for those of you for whom it it's relationship. I think for the majority of you, it is love and relationship. But out of those, some of this is going to be a reconciliation and a healing of what, uh, and healing of a break from a previous relationship, uh, a bringing, a making whole that which was broken before. And at the end of June 2016, I feel like it all comes together fairly quickly uh, because there is a fair amount of speed uh, and, and power associated with the chariot. The chariot is a card in the upright position about the swift, successful forward motion of something. Again, whether it's a relationship, that reconciliation, um, some of you even, because it's June, some of you could even be, you know, graduating this month and this is representing the end of a long investment of energy and burden and a lot of stress and anxiety over this and you're charging ahead into your new your new future armed with all the information and education you now have. It can also play out that way for you. But it's success at the end of the month, swift, powerful forward motion, which is what the chariot card represents. It also represents the bringing together of a variety of disparate forces and harnessing them together and making them work in perfect unison and harmony to move something forward successfully. Uh, the driver of this chariot, the operator of it, it's also about being decisive and assertive, having a very clear picture of where you want to go and moving towards that um, successfully and assertively because he needs to know where he's going in order to get there. He has the body of the chariot to deal with, the wheels of the chariot, the sphinxes or horses which operate the chariot. Each of these elements on their own want to go off in their own different direction. It's all about pulling everything together at the end of the month, Virgo, harnessing it together, making it work together and propelling something forward swiftly and successfully. And for you, again, as in this theme that's echoed throughout your reading, it means the end of the coming to an end of a lot of negative uh, emotions and energies. That chariot is paired with the nine of swords in the reverse. Now you had that eight of wands, the communication, which is helping you overcome this eight of swords in reverse, this, this victim helplessness, feeling trapped and held hostage energy. And at the end of the month, it's all about overcoming successfully and quickly overcoming this energy of a lot of mental stress and anxiety and worry as well. Because in the upright position, that's what the nine of swords uh, represents represents. Again, it's that mental suit about our thoughts and how we think and look at things. This woman is, uh, she's in bed, it's late at night, the moon's risen very high in the sky, everybody else is asleep, but she's not. She can't sleep because all her mental and emotional energy is, is consuming her. It's not letting her sleep, perhaps interfering with her day-to-day -day life uh, because she's just, she's expending way too much mental and, mental and emotional energy on whatever the source of her worry is. For some of you, I'm getting money too. And again, some of it could be related to school and you're graduating. Uh, but w whatever it is and the support that you're getting, this offer that you're getting is allowing that to come to an end. For a long, a lot of you, I feel like this has been a long-standing problem and it's just you're, you're coming to the successful end conclusion, overcoming, healing of it this month because this Nine of Swords came in the reverse. So it means the overcoming, the successful ending of this um, mental stress, anxiety, and worry. Because both this Eight of and Nine of Swords represents energy that's kind of illusionary. It's it's about not to invalidate whatever the source of your stress has or pain has been. But these cards can be illusionary in that they can represent building things up to be worse in our head and our heart than is actually reflected in the reality of our environment. Now with that nine of swords out you popped this queen of pentacles. Pentacles is governed by the element of earth, which is your element, Virgo. You are a, a beautiful, grounded, lovely earth sign. The queen of pentacles, uh, she, like the kings, have reached the mastery of their suit. It represents the culmination of uh, the best of the character traits of that suit. And this is the suit of pentacles. It's governed by earth. So you think about all those beautiful, wonderful earth qualities and traits. 
loyalty, dependability, reliability. We're talking about the energies of stability, a sense of continuity. The Queen of Pentacles embodies all of those things. Um, if I were to describe her as an actual individual, she would be like uh, the person who works uh, a full or part-time job. She's very successful at it. Um, she volunteers at the local whatever twice a week. She, Her home's always uh, beautiful. The lawn is always mowed. The roses are always trimmed. Uh, the kids and the husband are always well fed and look beautifully turned out. She's she's at the top of, of her game of, of, of pentacles. Pentacles is governed by earth, so it's all about things in our earthly, tangible, physical environment. The suit of pentacles represents things that we can see and touch and feel. Often that's about um, things in our material world, uh, things like money, finances, job, career, just managing um, the day-to-day -day tangible aspects of life. She is at the top of that. She's very good at that. Uh, in, in jobs, she's very good at that. With money, she would be probably comfortable if not uh, well off because she knows how to navigate and how to utilize that earth energy and she embodies that. So at or towards the end of June 2016, Virgo, you, you, it's it's kind of as if you, you've come back into your own and just embraced and are exhibiting um, who you actually really are. And again, it looks like you're having messages, um, strong theme, messages of love and support, offerings of love and support, communication of love and support. Some of you are going to be traveling and that's also going to add to this overcoming and healing energy as well. Some of you, it's love and relationships. And in that group, some of you are going to be reconciling successfully. Some of you, it's um, graduating, starting a new life. And finally, the stress and worry of everything that you've been investing in uh, is coming to a close. Um, in job, it could, represent, it could represent money concerns and finances you're getting. <coughs> excuse me, an offer of help and support. And this could represent a really good job offer and career path as well, which is going to, again, as it naturally would, represent the end of this um, pretty extreme uh, anxiety, mental stress, and worry about money and paying the bills and stuff like that. It's about coming from the dark into the light, about restrictions being lifted and energy um, lightening up because your crowning card is the sun, which represents exactly that. There's actually a strong theme of fun in the sun card. When you think about everything the sun brings, it brings light and warmth. You think of love and laughter and it, it, it helps makes things grow. It illuminates that which is dark. It, it clarifies that which was cloudy. Uh, again, the sun card is is a beautiful uh, accompaniment to the star card too. It's it's healing. It's it's where there was darkness. Things are lightening up. There's a shifting of energies. Um, you're being asked to have hope and faith in that. Um, money will get a little bit easier. Um, the the healing is overcoming the pain. The stress and anxiety is going to be dissipating and and um, it, it represents an uplifting of energies, a lightening up. There's a strong theme of, of, of social fun, uh, laughter. Um, and again, we do have a card that represents travel as well. So some of you may be traveling perhaps to a warm and sunny place. However, that resonates for you. You'll have to let me know. Overall, a, a really beautiful uh, reading. Um, I love to see readings about overcoming, going through this difficult, challenging time or a long investment of energy in something and having it uh, be so beautiful and, and overcoming. Um, and really at the end of the month, Virgo, here you are coming into your own. Beautiful. So Virgo, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. I hope it has brought you uh, some wisdom and clarity and insight and hope because it looks like you've worked really hard for it. Congratulations to you. And if any of you are interested in a more personal definitive one-on-one -on -one reading, please uh, feel free to click on the about uh, button on my homepage and uh, you can email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be so delighted to work with you and uh, we'll go from there. And I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the July 2016 general readings. Uh, in between now and then, I hope to have enough time to post uh, uh, 12 short general career and finance readings, which I truly love to do. So hopefully I will be looking forward to, but all of us will be looking forward to seeing that uh, by the end of the month. Uh, but I will definitely see you at the beginning of July. And until then, Virgo, 
as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.